Good news guys, Ripple has won two awards at the 2023 Digital Currency Award, recognizing it as the leading company in terms of sustainability initiatives. By the way, Ripple CTO has dispelled rumors circulating that another innovative product from Ripple might be sidelining XRP. Also, XRP Ledger's overall network activity metrics increased in Q1 2023 compared to the previous quarter. Moreover, the crypto community members have shown significant interest in the update on Hinman's documents, generating over 3M views. Finally, a lot of views and opinions have been made known by various influential individuals concerning the status of XRP as a security, but is the SEC chairman right to have declared XRP a security amid the Hinman's documents saga? Stick with me till the end to find out more. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP to stand the chance of participating. All you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP and the winner will be announced on the 31st of May. Ripple has bagged two honors at the 2023 Digital Currency Awards organized by Currency Research, a notable organization that connects professionals and foster collaborations in the cash and payments industry. The awards recognized Ripple as the leading company in terms of sustainability initiatives in 2022. Mary Hall, Ripple's global marketing lead for CBDCs, first called attention to the remarkable feat in a recent tweet. The awards were presented at the Digital Currency Conference in Mexico City. According to Hall's disclosure, Ripple, as a company, won the award for the best sustainability initiative in 2022. In addition, James Wallace, the Vice President for Central Bank Engagements and CBDCs at RippleX, bagged the award for the Digital Currency Leader of the Year. Information from the official currency research website corroborates these claims. Notably, the Best Sustainability Initiative Award recognizes companies and individuals that focus on reducing the negative effects of digital currencies on the environment and promoting sustainable practices that reduce carbon emissions. Ripple emerged as the winner, surpassing two other distinguished finalists, namely Andre Lipkin, a celebrated strategic advisor to central banks and cryptocurrency enterprises, and Stellar, the company behind the open-source decentralized protocol founded by Jed McCaleb. As previously reported by the Crypto Basic last December, Ripple has continued to reaffirm its commitment to promoting environmentally friendly initiatives. The company joined over 300 other companies as a signatory of the Climate Pledge in September 2022, seeking to go net zero carbon by 2040. Ripple has also championed several initiatives aimed at reducing carbon emissions. Last May, the company made a commitment of $100 million to facilitate the development of carbon removal solutions. The month before that, Ripple became a signatory of the world's largest purchase agreement for carbon credits. Besides the Sustainability Initiative Award, official data from Currency Research confirms that James Wallace emerged as the winner for the Digital Currency Leader of the Year Award. Furthermore, David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple, recently dismissed circulating rumors that the newly launched central bank digital currency platform from Ripple would not use XRP. Schwartz confirmed that the platform could interact with XRP. A report from Blockworks, a crypto media outlet, alleged that institutions using the CBDC platform would not use or interact with XRP. The report cited a Ripple spokesperson as the source, as no official public statement had confirmed this information. However, taking to Twitter, David Schwartz debunked these claims hours after the report surfaced. He stressed that the CBDC platform is built using the same technology that powers the XRP ledger and underscores the importance of the XRPL. Schwartz confirmed, it, the CBDC platform, has the ability to interact with XRPL and use XRP as a bridge currency for cross-currency and cross-border payments. As previously reported, Ripple recently launched a CBDC platform that will allow central banks and other financial institutions to develop their own digital currencies. While the official press release from Ripple emphasized that the platform will leverage the XRP ledger, the announcement did not explicitly mention using XRP. Notably, during the pilot of the CBDC platform in 2021, Ripple confirmed that the product would use XRP as a neutral bridge asset. Catherine Ross, a senior reporter at Blockworks addressing the XRP community concerns, said, The headline we ran is not misleading though, we said that there was no direct need for XRP. 
Yes, there is an option for central banks to interact with or utilize XRP, but as I reported, banks using the platform do not need to use it. However, the fact that the recent press release does not precisely mention the use of XRP has led to speculations that the newly launched platform might sideline the asset. Schwartz's recent remarks are an attempt to address these speculations. Ripple's business model typically leverages XRP as a neutral currency for liquidity and cross-currency swaps. The firm uses XRP for its RippleNet product, although individual institutions can choose any digital asset they prefer. As highlighted earlier this month, Naveen Gupta, Ripple's managing director for South Asia and MENA, disclosed that the firm only does cross-currency swaps using XRP. However, he emphasized that the technology is neutral and can be used with any currency of choice. Due to recent developments, the XRP community is concerned that Ripple might be gradually tilting away from using XRP. Concerns emerged when Ripple sidelined XRP on its liquidity hub product that launched last month. However, the firm affirmed that it would include the asset when it gains regulatory clarity in the US. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Messari, a cryptocurrency analytics firm, has released a new report showing XRP Ledger's performance in the first quarter of the year. According to data published by Messari, both the number of unique daily active addresses and daily transactions on the XRPL network recorded significant growth in Q1 2023. For the report, the number of daily active addresses on XRPL in Q1 2023 increased by 13.9% compared to the previous quarter, showing growth from 57,517 to 65,525 unique addresses. Messari noted that the total active addresses on the XRP network surged quarter on quarter because the receiving addresses rallied by 17.1% from 47k to 55k. However, the XRPL network sending addresses dipped in Q1 2023 compared to the previous quarter. Similarly, the average daily transaction count on the XRPL network also recorded a slight gain of 10.7% in Q1 2023 than the previous quarter, representing a growth from 1.19 million to 1.32 million. Commenting on the development, Messari noted that the overall network activity metrics increased in Q1 2023 compared to the previous quarter. Overall network activity metrics increased in Q1, with the totals for daily active addresses and daily transactions increasing 13.9% and 10.7%, respectively, Messari noted. Meanwhile, Messari also shared data for other activities on the XRP ledger. According to the cryptocurrency analytics company, the number of new addresses slumped in Q1 2023 compared to the previous quarter. The total new addresses in Q1 2023 decreased to 141,400 from the 230,900 new addresses recorded in Q4 2022. Messari data shows that the price of XRP surged by 56% QOQ, from 35 cents to 54 cents. It asserted that the price of XRP surged tremendously in Q1 2023, following positive reports about the ongoing SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. Furthermore, Messari said XRP had a total market cap of $28 billion at the end of Q1 2023. Currently, XRP is changing hands at $0.46, cents, up 3.8% over the past 24 hours, data from CoinGecko shows. XRP currently has a valuation of $24.15 billion and is ranked as the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Furthermore, as reported earlier, U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres, the judge in charge of the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit, ruled on the party's requests to seal the summary judgment materials. Interestingly, the most important aspect of the ruling for XRP community members was the denial of SEC's motion to seal internal deliberations related to the 2018 controversial speech by William Hinman, former director of SEC's Corporation Finance. The tweet, shared by seasoned pro-crypto lawyer James K. Fillon, recorded over 3 million views in less than three days. At press time, the tweet had a total of 3.4 million views from crypto community members, especially XRP fans. Additionally, the tweet has gotten more than 10.5k likes so far. XRP community members have shown a massive interest in the update, given the significant efforts the SEC put into ensuring Hinman's documents remain sealed. For context, Hinman was the former director of SEC's Corporation Finance. 
The speech by Hinman at the Yahoo Finance All Market Summit in June 2018, where he declared Bitcoin and Ethereum as not securities, was a major aspect of the legal battle between the SEC and Ripple. The leading blockchain company requested drafts of the speech to support its defense. However, the SEC refused to surrender the documents, citing different claims like attorney-client privilege. After 18 months of legal battle and six court orders, the SEC finally surrendered Hinman's documents to Ripple in October 2022. However, the securities regulator made moves to ensure the documents were sealed. The commission filed a motion in December 2022 to seal the drafts of Hinman's speech. Surprisingly, Judge Torres denied the request on the grounds that the drafts of Hinman's speech are judicial documents subject to a presumption of public access. Per Fillin, the documents will be released on June 6, 2023, consistent with Judge Torres' sealing ruling. Meanwhile, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse has disclosed that the company is working with its lawyers to release an unredacted version of Hinman's documents. Following the efforts made by the SEC to keep Hinman's documents sealed, some XRP community members believe the commission might likely settle with Ripple rather than allow the company to release an unredacted version of the docs. Now to the big question of the day. Is the SEC chairman right to have declared XRP a security amid the Hinman's documents saga? Max Kaiser, an advisor to the government of El Salvador on Bitcoin, said SEC chairman Gary Gensler is right to state that most crypto assets, including XRP, are securities. The Bitcoin proponent remarked that everything not Bitcoin is a security, including top crypto assets like XRP and Ethereum. The senior Bitcoin advisor to President Nayib Bukele stated that El Salvador has already established laws recognizing only Bitcoin as not security. Furthermore, Kaiser invited the chairman of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission to visit El Salvador in order to learn how it became the leading Bitcoin country in the world. Kaiser made this known while reacting to Gensler's recent statement about cryptocurrency regulations. In a recent question and answer session, the SEC boss slammed crypto firms for not complying with existing securities rules. He also said that the crypto market is based on a false narrative of decentralization. Gensler has reiterated that most cryptos other than Bitcoin are securities. Despite claiming that most crypto assets fall under the SEC's purview, Gensler has refused to heed the demands of crypto stakeholders who have been calling on the commission to establish new and clear rules for the emerging market. Per Gensler, the crypto industry does not require new guidelines, as existing securities laws also apply to the industry. Top crypto stakeholders, including Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, have slammed Gensler over his preferred regulatory approach for the industry. He has been accused of favoring regulation by enforcement over rulemaking. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.